All right, so here I am at the Budma Show in Poznan, Poland. Well, that's something you don't see every day. It's a coiled piece of wood. Wow. I've got to get some video with these two girls. I don't know what brand it is, but I'm buying it. So these guys do a solar roof. So this is hall number six. This thing's big. I like this little model house. That's cool. There's eight buildings here at this show. It's taken me a mile of walking to find my display. All right, here we go, hall number eight. Heavy equipment. Oh, there's the display right there. Look at that. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Atlas Survival Shelters. I'm at the Budma Show in uh, Poznan, Poland. They have the show every two years, and we got us a display here showing the Swiss-style blast doors, the air systems, we got the modular shelter, and we got a Garnado. So let me show you my display today, all right? All right, so I'm in Poland right now at the Budma show, and uh, this is our display here. We brought in uh, the Lunar air system and one of the uh, PT blast doors. This is for a port in place concrete bunker. So this is an illustration of how you make a Swiss style um, fallout shelter. You'll need two doors, you'll need one of the escapes, and of course you'll need the Swiss style air system. But this is how you do it in concrete. And for you guys that are interested in building in your own bunkers, as you can tell, I got plenty of Swiss style blast doors and NBC air systems brought one of our modular shelters and of course we brought the Garnado it's very clean very nice all European switches European outlets Non-skid steps on the ladder, European switch for the light. The shelter is, um, we left it raw steel on this side, but showed it with the uh, foam on the other side. Guys, yeah, so let me go ahead and show you one of these Garnados in the ground. So what you're seeing right here, this is an eight by 12 Garnado that's being installed in the uh, ground before they're gonna pour the foundation of the house. So the smallest we make these is uh, like, we make a seven by 10 for about $40,000, which is the cheapest one we got. But this one here, as you can tell, all the PVC is run, uh, the air pipes are run, and then they're going to go ahead and pour like three feet of concrete on top of this, and that concrete will shield you from the gamma radiation. And then uh, they'll just build their house on top of the slab. But uh, this one has a hatch instead of the staircase, so you'll actually go down a ladder on this particular bunker. Ooh. These beautiful wall samples. So one of my YouTube followers showed up here at the show in uh, Poland and brought me all these samples. Now we can actually, instead of putting paint on the walls or after the paint on the walls, we can actually put these finishes uh, for the interiors. And I've done bunkers like that where we put stone and nicer interiors. So we might do this on that Italian model one that we have here in um, Poland. I noticed people love these interactive displays where you can actually go inside it. So here we've got a little uh, little display sign yeah showing different bunkers there's the one we're actually doing in Romania the doors in a two-tone paint that's really good so we got uh, six people inside this little bunker this is like a 
what we would call a 10 by uh, 10 by 10 by 10 basically Even got a new catalog just for this show. It's getting a lot of attention. See, even in a small shelter, uh, a 10 by 10, which this is, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And with me in here, we got eight men in here. And then we've got three more coming in the hallway. So the answer is, how many people can you get in a shelter? Well, basically one for every 10 square feet. So this is 100 square feet. Technically, you can get 10 people in this shelter, but it wouldn't be comfortable, but it would meet uh, European standards, but not American standards. Well guys, this is David. He's actually the owner of the factory in Poland. And these two gentlemen are two of his 22 engineers. But our factory in Poland employs 250 people. David here is the owner and uh, does a beautiful job. He's an ISO 9001 factory, which means he can make parts for Mercedes, Porsche, and Fiat, which they do. And you don't do that unless you put out a quality product. And they're the engineers and designers and the guys turning out the quality products that are coming out of Poland right now. Uh, I make money uh, well. So we have to be between the red line and the blue line. This is how quiet this air system is. I mean, I can like whisper and still doesn't even affect my talking at all. This is the bracket, how we mount them in Texas to show our we're Texas made, Texas proud with the little Atlas logo on there. All right, I'm gonna start cranking it from scratch. Just grab this handle. Now, to meet Swiss regulations, you gotta be able to crank an air system, okay? If you don't have a crank, it doesn't meet Swiss regulations, but you can tell how easy it is to crank. But if you lose power, that's all you need to do is just crank that. And of course, we've got in some of these triple bunk beds that were made at the Polish factory and a little toilet because we're here at this show. There's your little hand grenade hole. The inside of our door from the back side. So the workmanship coming out of uh, Europe is very clean. Well, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video and a little tour of my 10 by 10 Garnado I had at the uh, show there in Poland. So I spent two weeks in Europe. I visited a bunch of other countries and I shot a lot of films. So be looking for some more videos coming out of Poland, including a tour of a Russian spy bunker that was built underneath a hotel where every room was tapped. Oh, this is a cool video. And believe it or not, the 70 year old bunker still works. Everything turns back on. But guys, make sure you like and subscribe. Always, I love you. I'll see you on the next video.